What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jay Main back checking in with the people and listen I want to talk about the Xbox one X and the developers Porting their games to the console now. It seems to be a running theme that I'm hearing that the Xbox one X uh, port time is like less than a day you know what I'm saying? They have the game developed and, you know, when they get the hardware, they get the dev kits going. They're getting their game on the Xbox One in a day. Now, from there, of course, you can do the fine tuning and, you know, adding all the extra stuff to it. But just hearing that it only takes a day to get their games up and running on the Xbox One X is phenomenal. Now, I'm not sure what the case is when it comes to PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 4 Pro or even the Nintendo Switch for that matter. I'm not sure if it takes a day or if it takes a couple days, weeks, months. I don't know the situation there, but just hearing a less than a day, I mean, how can you really, you know what I'm saying? How can you really have anything bad to say against that, you know? So that's dope to hear. Um, like I was saying, the, the developers from Monolith who are making Shadow of War, during the interview when asked if they will be bringing the game to the Switch, um, they also revealed that this is when it took a day, less than a day to get on Xbox One X. But I want to backtrack a little bit to the Nintendo Switch part because it this system is not getting any, you know, AAA third-party support. And I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. Uh, I know in the past on the Wii U, third-party games, they don't sell well there. But I'm also wondering if, you know, hearing about this day dev uh you know development transfer is that does that have something to do with it it was reports that the switch was easy to develop for but i wonder when it comes to these games that are graphically demanding for the xbox one and ps4 of course with the switch being weaker you're gonna have to scale the game back now i'm sure a, the game can run on the switch but i think it's a matter of the developers wanting to sacrifice certain things to get their game up and running on the Nintendo Switch. And then you combine that with, you know, mediocre to poor third party sales when it came to Nintendo in previous generations. It's like the developers are, aren't bothering with it. They kind of take that wait and see approach. But I, I just don't feel like that even when it comes to the Switch, people will buy their third party games on there. I know the portability thing is a factor. And for me personally, I love that about the Switch, but I don't think I love it enough to buy a, a game on it that, you know, I'm really looking forward to a triple A multiplayer. Like if maybe I'll double dip somewhere down the line, like uh, maybe an Anthem, you know what I'm saying? That comes out and it's on Switch, PS4, Xbox One, PC. I feel like I'm going to get the version on consoles because that's where most of my friends play. Um, I'm going to get a version on the PC because that's where it looks the best. But will I get a version on the Switch that so I can take it on the go? You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I probably would, but the Switch version will come down the line. And that's just me. You got to think about the casual people who buy majority of the games. They're not buying three versions or even two versions for that matter. So developers are really looking at that and they're like, it's not worth it at this point. It's really not. Um, and that's just sad. You know what I'm saying? It sucks because I would love to see these games on the Switch. But back to the Xbox One X, you know, I'm jumping all over the place, but I like to hear this about the Xbox One X. I'm still not sold enough. Well, I'm sold on the product for what it is, but I'm not sold enough to the point where I feel like I need to get one. And I've said that multiple times, but hearing all the great things about it is good, you know, because what's good for the goose is good for the gander. What's good for the Xbox One X is going to be better, good for the pro. Um, if they have to spend less time on the Xbox One X, maybe that means they'll spend more time, if needed, on the PS4 Pro version. You know what I'm saying? Now there's something to help balance out them, not just feeling like, okay, we're spending our time on this one platform where we ain't got to worry about, while wow, we got the, you know, the weaker consoles that we really need to worry about. Now they got something that's up there and beyond the Pro that, you know, they're developing for uh, simultaneously, I guess you could say. So that's dope to hear. I'm looking forward to Shadow of War. It's one of my most anticipated games this year. But let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this. I want to hear uh, what your opinions on on just the development cycle for the Pro, uh, the Xbox One X, even the Nintendo Switch for third-party games. Uh, make sure you hit that like button if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, it helps the channel out. And I'll catch you on my next video. Peace.